Hey, what's happening? What's poppin' NPL fans? It's your boy Iron Flash Gaming, and today you're gonna be leaving a fat ass like on this video because you see a stun fist, and this is the semifinals of the NPL. So, dude, this is gonna be clean. As the thing is, is he has things like Mega Venusaur, he's got the Latias, he's got Clefable. He didn't bring those, but my man decided to bring hyper offense versus me which is definitely like when i saw that he had hyper offense versus me he's got all this like fat ass shit seismic toad you know I, I i'm thinking right now it's like oh my god what is going on does he like is maybe if he like super super fears heracross like tearing up his like defensive core maybe he's thinking like oh my god well i can't prepare for his defense let's just break bring offense as he has a haxorus as i don't have a dragon uh i don't have a fairy and um, Weavile, because like Weavile for attacks, literally I have no counter team, for, or like I like I have to bring a berry for Weavile, it's so stupid. That sells st defense, max defense, max HP, sells steel, it does work versus it too, but I don't know how I like like defensive sell steel in this matchup because it can defensively check things like Haxorus, things like Weavile, can take a hit from Lucario, but then again, he has like things that like could forever wall my sell steel if I'm not like offensive. Um, <clears throat> Potentially, as uh, yeah, he's got Tentacruel. Like, I have no idea why he's bringing Tentacruel. Like, okay, it has spin, but it's a garbage Pokemon. As everybody knows, Tentacruel, the only Tentacruel set that's good is Sword Stance. Uh, Tentacruel is the best set. Um, but yeah, I mean, looking from team, team preview, um, pretty much uh, Stun Fist pretty much beats everything. Uh, yeah, I have um, Earth Power, that Oko's the Haxorus, Oko's the Weavile, Oko's the um, Lucario, Oko's the uh, Tentacruel, even if he Shuka, um, the uh, Stunfisk will easily uh, one-shot the uh, Tentacruel with something like um, Thunder. <clears throat> I have the Draco Meteor for the uh, Latias, as Draco Meteor from my Stunfisk will easily Oko the uh, Latias. And then I have Shadow Ball for levitating um, uh, Bronzong, which uh, does not take a <clears throat> Life Orb uh, Choice Spec Stun Fist Shadow Ball. So the next mon is I actually have a Choice Scarf on my Celesteela. And that's because, like, I don't know if his Weavile is going to speed creep Celesteela. So I'm actually, like, max speed, max attack. And you'll see kind of what the rest of my team is. But if. I like get a kill with heavy slam I think like the game is over because like even Tentacruel can take a single hit um it doesn't like he would have to scald burn me or he just like gets too killed by heavy slam and then things start and then obviously Bronzong is technically a heavy slam switch in but it doesn't actually touch Celesteela that's Celesteela is like pretty broken it's pretty cool I got a pretty broken team so that's cool. I have a Choice Specs Volcanion with eight Hidden Power Ghost because his Ghost Resist is a um, Weavile, which is not a Switch in to Vol Volcanion. And he's also got a Staraptor, which he didn't bring. I'm surprised. He like brought HO, but he decided to bring Tentacruel over fucking Staraptor. Like, oh, what is this guy doing? I don't know what's going on. But uh, we already know what um, Mega Heracross does. I have Rock Blast for. A potential to a KO on Clefable, unless Clefable's like max defense, max HP. Um, but he decided to bring HO versus me, and so Heracross should still do pretty good in this matchup, as it's a pretty good Latias switch in. But um, yeah, not having a uh, Fairy type versus Dragon stab like Latias and, and Haxorus, that's pretty scary. And uh, yeah, Weavile also, like, I don't really have a Weavile switch in because it's gonna have. You know, knockoff. It's gonna have air delays for my weave, uh, for my Mega Heracross. I'm a little bit scared from it. And um, I got Banded Zygarde, and I have Sword Stance three tax Mew. Let's get in the game. As this is kind of gonna be a interesting game here. As um, it's gonna be a lot longer than you think. So, anyways, um, I predict him to lead off with his Weavile. As um, because I'm Yachi Berry on my Stun Fist, I should easily. Um, live this hit and then just take him out with a um, focus blast here <clears throat> not knowing that Weavile's gonna switch out versus a potential focus blast stun fist i predict him to switch out so i just set up my rocks as uh he goes for the weave he goes for the ice crash like maybe he thought he can like flinch stun fist but obviously stun fist is inner focus so he wasn't really gonna flinch me there and um 
could have took him out right here, but I decided to go for Stealth Brock because, um, you know, obviously Sunfist, it doesn't really die. And I kind of felt sorry for Toad because um, I'm going to annually penetrate him, but I'm going to at least get, you know, I, I, basically I could have 6 0 him right here with Stunfisk if I had went for Rock Polish there, but I decided not to. And um, I'm just going to go out into my Culverberry uh, Mew as because I'm Culverberry and Drain Punch, I could easily take out. So he ends up being uh, sub, maybe predicting I had Will O Wisp. I don't really agree with that because he ends up later having Lumberry on Haxorus. And I don't know, I, I really think he went. I mean, Weavile forces switch outs, but I switched Mew into Weavile. Like, if Weavile switched into my win condition, maybe you can get up a free sub versus them, but <clears throat> literally, I cannot predict around this. Like, I cannot over predict versus Weavile. 100%. I'm not an amateur. So, yeah, uh, he goes out in a Bronzong, which um, I do have Leech Life and Drain Punch and Zen Headbutt, Sword Stand Straight Tax with Culverberry. So, um, I, yeah, I go for Drain Punch, that does nothing, so I'm just gonna set up a Swords Dance here, as, um, I can just, you know, chip away at this Bronzong, as he actually goes for a trick. So, this is actually pretty bad, because he takes away my Cobra Berry, and, like, I'm Choice Scarf, Cell Steela, so that's not a Weavile I'll switch in. Like, I pretty much, um, I'm in a really, really bad position right here. I did not expect him to bring Trick. As uh, I actually fucking trick the shit out of this man. Go for a baton pass. Go out into my Zygarde. Go for a dragon dance. And uh, things get hot real quick, fam. So <laughs> he goes for an HPS. That bounces off my dick like it's nothing. I go for a thousand arrows. Knock this boy out. He goes out in the Latias. He's threatening as he scarf. I don't give a shit. I'm clicking thousand arrows. Bring that choice scarf here, boy. I go for a thousand arrows. Knock out his Haxorus. Comes back into Lucario. Lucario's not a switch in to this thousand arrows. Shookaberry, get out of my face. Zygarde don't care. Zygarde comes in. Uh, yeah, thousand arrows easily drops his light ass. Crit obviously mattered. He goes out into the tentacle. I'm like, okay, well, maybe I need to get a max roll with the Z move. Take out the tentacle was a roll, of course. I get the roll, and uh, I go for extreme speed right here. Weavile's trying to pressure stall me. I don't care, and Zygarde wins the game. So <laughs> we uploaded a match somewhat on time, and Zygarde, um, yeah, Zygarde's a pretty cool Pokemon. Basically, long story short, could have won easily 6-0 with Stunfisk, but we'll take this win with uh, Zygarde so I hope you guys enjoyed this match it was a it was a quick one but he like Togovor didn't really understand the mechanics to trick and um, the thing is is I already knew the Bron I already knew the game was over once he went Bronzong and um, he could have potentially been Choice Scarf on Latias which I was willing to, to risk that and he could have the I could have went for a double Dragon Dance versus Bronzong, but one, I'd be risking a crit, and two, he could have like he could have um priority on Lucario, which HB Ice from Bronzong plus another HB Ice from Bronzong plus Bullet Punch or E Speed will take out my um my uh, Zygarde. So I didn't go I only went for one Dragon Dance and it paid off and he wasn't uh Troy Scarf Latias because he thought like because he has like ice coverage on every single one of his mods, and he was just thinking like, oh well, Zygarde's not going to be able to sweep, and it did. And so, um, actually, yeah, I, I kind of don't understand the prep too, because obviously my setup fodder was the Bronzong, and um, his Latias ends up being, I think like, Stored Powered and Thunder, Thunder, or Thunderbolt, or Zemu Thunder, or something like that. I don't know, I don't know, some like weird Latias set, so the only thing that actually could live a plus 1,000 arrows from his team was his Latias, and Latias didn't have coverage for my Zygarde, so, um, I really don't, like, I don't really, I really don't know what his thought, like, HO was obviously like a pretty good brain versus me, because I don't have a lot of switch-ins to his mons, but he didn't have a safety net versus Zygarde, and, uh, plopped him, so, um, nevertheless, 
very very good game Tog of War um, as uh, historically if you beat Tog of War you win the league and so hopefully I can win versus Gypsy King so I hope you guys enjoy this one the next one is gonna be hype as fuck I haven't played it yet so I'm really excited so um, enjoy the rest of your guys day and I'm signing out peace <laughs>